if Haichi's okay. Let's go look. Oh, we can't. Stop worrying about oh! people. Right now, you should be worrying about yourself. Get fucked! He's here. Master Biakia is nearby. I can smell his beautiful nipples. Huh? How do you know? I can smell him. See? His aromatic sweet fragrance is getting stronger. You mean his B.O. is getting stronger? Don't say it like that. It makes it sound like he smells bad. But then again, a smelly master is good too. That itself is a reward for us. Us? You're including me in this? Hell yeah, girl. Anyway, there's no mistaking <laughs> it. He's close. But first we have to get the key. I know. That brat called Monica has it right. But before we go, let me nourish myself. No. <laughs> yeah. Any shinies? I don't see any. Can I go up? Nope. The dank Byakuya stench smells like. Hey, there's a shiny. Money. I, won't, I can't get up there, though. Big doors. Ooh, we made it to the ritual chamber. For some reason, this room creeps me out. I guess they use this room as a war room. Probably made it creepy for ambiance. For some reason. Pretty blunt, if you ask me. But I guess you can't expect much from kids. All right, I can't quite put my finger on it, but this room's wow. pretty creepy. You're mean. <laughs> I'm glad you're on my side. That's a backhanded compliment. Maybe there's a hidden oh. room behind that throne. Of course. There's always a hidden passage behind the throne. Everyone knows that. Oh, shiny. So it really Wait. was a hidden room. What? But I picked up a shiny. Do you think the Yakuya could be in there? Hidden, this is by the exactly way. Exactly the kind of room where he'd be hidden. But I wanted, I, I, but, but I picked up a shiny. Uh, Toko, wait up! It wasn't a switch. It blew up when the bomb guy did it. Jeez, Yaki. I'm sorry. You must be embarrassed by my hole. But I'm so tired now. For some reason, I feel really sleepy. Thank you for everything. Please get along with the new kid, too. Ah, uh, that was fun. Rest in peace, Sakun. This one's different from the other one. It's really... This ladder, it's pretty suspicious. But Master is inside a storage room. What kind of storage room would be up a ladder? An upstairs one. Let's just check it out for now. There's no handle. Oh. Oh, no! Look! Shit! Oh, no! Oh God! <laughs> looks like These looks like your room. Photos of Junko and Ashima. You have a uh, eccentric taste. Huh? This person is 
Shunko and Oshima? She's different than how I pictured her. She looks like your typical trendy teenage girl. What are you saying? Do you know how many people have died because of her? All of them. Sorry, you're right. And more importantly, this creepy room. It's like a cult headquarters. What happened? Take a look at this. The girl in this photo with Junko. It's Monica. I see. No wonder. She has a wicked face. Really? Looks like a normal smile to me. That just makes it creepier. Posing with Junko and Ishima and smiling like this. The way this photo was placed here. I'd guess this is Monica's room. <laughs> no wonder she wants to be the successor. She worships Junko from the bottom of her heart. But don't you think it's a little strange? What do you mean? Don't tell me you're still on about that ghost or whatever. If you're curious, you can question her yourself. I thought Master would be here, since this is a hidden room and all. But I guess not. Wait, bring the music back. Lickety lickety. Gimme that dickety. Ooh, a shiny. Not a fairy tale. I never expected my mother would abandon me to my father, someone I never met before. I never thought something like that could happen to me, meow. If this were a fairy tale, the main character would tie the knot with the prince from somewhere. But I know this is reality, not some silly old tale. The only thing I can do is sigh. Selfishly. Wait, okay. Selfishly do their business, selfishly give birth, and then to top it off, selfishly abandon. Heh <laughs> such pathetic creatures. How splendid. Ah, right, right. Speaking of splendid, all of my new family is so splendid too. The attitude they have towards me, the outsider, is far too obvious. When I say a joke, the room freezes. When I smile, they make a face that says, you don't deserve to laugh. They're so amazing. It's so splendid. <laughs> so splendid, I want to die. Just kidding. No, seriously, I was kidding. Just a joke. Yikes, dude. Bye, Junko and Junko and Junko and Junko and Junko. Wait, is this a different room? With a different ladder? Whoa, this one goes way up. Look at that. Ooh, look at this. Shunk. My intuition says we're almost at the highest level. My intuition says your, your intuition is probably correct. correct. That spiral staircase must be connected to the roof. Wee. Wee. No, wait, there's a shiny somewhere. Don't cutscene me. This door is locked. No doubt about it. Master has to be on the other side of this door. Huh? You're not going to lose your composure this time? You're not going to, like, cling to the door and cry and shout and make ugly faces? Well, it's true that I might do that, but it's <laughs> weird hearing it from someone else. When your purpose lies just before you, sometimes you need to be as calm as a corpse. That's a creepy example. Anyway, I'm not going to have some half-assed reunion now, but a full joyous reunion later. Oh boy. When that happens, I'll cry and shout and make ugly faces in Master's arms. Are oh you boy. sure he'd be okay with that? No. There's no way he'd dislike it. Jeez, you don't understand men at all. You need to be in love. A woman in love is the most beautiful woman of all. I'll try to remember that. Hell yeah. I 
I know there's a shiny over here. Over here. About Makoto Naegi, Big Sis Junko, aka the goddess, was killed by Makoto Naegi. Makoto is super cool. He overcame tough circumstances with the power of hope and obtained the future that he wanted. He even makes the boys' hearts race. There's no mistaking that each and every one of you will admire him. And a super cool guy like that absolutely has to be killed. We were led to misfortune by Makoto Naegi, so we have no other choice. Pigs who kill others for their own interest deserve to be killed by pigs for other people's interest. Okay. Cool story. Pigs. Yo, look at this spiral ramp. It's not a staircase. This is wheelchair accessible secret evil lair design. Turn, turn, turn. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> You're right. Dude, Monica is gonna have, have bomb upper body, body strength head? wheeling up this like three story high ramp. Her arms are probably swole as hell. Any shinies? Nope. Yeah, wow, 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 wow. Wait, why are there amber lampses up here? That's it. This huge airship is the Excalibur. Does that thing even fly? It looks like a floating hotel. Check for shinies. Ooh, shiny. Hello, sad dead boy. You didn't die ambiguously as ever, all your other warriors of hope did. Whoa, that's a lot of them. Oh my! Nothing but chumps. Let's end this. Oh, the music is popping though. What? What? There we go. Fuck the auto aim. Spirit bomb. Look at them all. Holy shit. <laughs> They don't drop anything, though. Oh, wait. Dance! Dance, bitch! Yes! Dance for me, my minions! <laughs> I'm very disappointed that they didn't all drop shit. I could get so much money if they did. All they drop is health. Oh, shit. I'm getting a little tired. Are you all right, Togo? Well, of course I am. Worry about yourself. Come on, die. Die. Hello? 
No, I need it. Oh. I was like, why is it not going? Nyaho! Wait, he had money. I need it. I need the money. Finally, we're free of The one Monokuma that had money. All we gotta do now is get in the airship. They call him Money Kuma. Then let's hurry and end this. Alley oop. Ooh, side scroller section. Hey, Togo. We near automata now. What? A lot of terrible things happen to me in this city. And I have a lot of bad memories. But I am so happy that I was able to meet you. Why are you saying this all of a sudden? You can say that stuff after everything's over. <laughs> You're right. I'm sure that girl Monica is in that huge hall all the way in the back. That is where bad guys like to hang out. Oh! <laughs> Strong as hell. Hey, look, we're right back where we started. Memoirs of Monica. I really, really love Big Sis Junko so much that the word love isn't enough. I love Big Sis Junko who shined light upon Monica's world. If only I could see her one more time. If only that horrible day never happened. Monica will do anything it takes. Monica will cut her wrists. Monica will drink poison. Monica doesn't need her eyes, ears, nose, or mouth. But yeah, I know. No matter how many painful things I do, no matter how many shameful things I do, it won't change the facts. Monica will just end up hurt and ashamed. I know that. Monica knows that. But because I know that, without a doubt, Monica feels lonely and sad and empty. I just want to die. I know. That's why I feel hatred. That's why I want to kill them all so bad. That's why I thought of the idea of the successor. Just a little bit more, please. Just a little bit more and the world will know despair once again. No. That's a forbidden. Unknown. Well, joke's on you, game, because I know. I know she's up the stairs, so I'm going all the other ways first. Hell yeah, worth. What makes me cry the most? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. There are tons of reasons tongue twisters are hard to say, but I think a lot of it comes from having to suddenly start another consonant sound. Humans are weak to sudden changes. I dislike sudden things too. Old men just suddenly start talking about it. Mommy suddenly starts crying. Just thinking about it makes my tummy squeeze. Why do I have to feel like this? I'm fine with normal. I don't need to sparkle. Mommy tells me it's too late once you're old. Mommy says youth isn't eternal, but I didn't even want to start. Youth might not be eternal, but I'm sure knowledge is. But I can't say that to Mommy. If I say something like that, Mommy would cry. Even though it hurts and it's scary and it makes me sad when the old men are gentle to me, making Mommy cry hurts more. So I might as well just be gentle all the time. If I hold in a little pain and fear and sadness, Mommy doesn't have to cry a single tear. That's gonna be a yikes from me. There's no way I can let him be disappointed. I'm the worst. It was a horrible result. I feel so worthless I want to die. Why am I like this? Why can't I just be better? Father had such high hopes for me. I couldn't meet his expectations. Not even once. It was all meaningless. Just because I wasn't good enough, it was stupid of father to expect so much from a worthless fool like me. Why am I me? Why wasn't I just born better? Why am I not the child father wanted? But excuses aren't going to help me now. Only hopeless idiots fritter away their lives with self-hatred. I don't have time. I need to work even harder. I need to live up to father's expectations. It doesn't matter how high they are. I don't want to disappoint him. Never again. This is just the feels bad hallway. The 
The Family from the Day Before Yesterday by Toko Fukawa. Another Toko book. Oh, that's all it says. Okay. So this is also your book, huh? Why is there no synopsis written here? I'm sure you wouldn't know this, but that's not rare among pure novels. With a name as prestigious as mine, you don't need a summary to move units. But because this is written by a friend, I want, at least want to know the synopsis. Uh, okay, as a friend, I'll tell you. Since you're listening to the author herself, you better clean your ears and listen carefully. Wait! Oh, well, actually, never mind. It's fine. Continue. Don't mess with me! What's the problem? Calling me a friend like that, then snatching my moment away from me, you sadist. It's not like that. I just think that maybe because it is your book, I should go into it cold. Well, if that's the case, I guess I understand, but you should be more clear when you speak. You startled me so much, you made nearly made me forget the idea for my next book. Huh? Oh, you already have an idea for your next work? Isn't that obvious? Who do you think I am? I always have more than 200 ideas in stock. I just haven't decided which idea to use. Well, maybe it would be fun to write about your own experience, like in this town. You're right. Write about my own experience, huh? I've heard that advice before, but I've already decided not to write about this town. Or maybe I should say that even if I do end up writing something, I would never publish it. Hmm? I'd want to read it, though. A novel about this city written by you. <laughs> like a novel written about me. About this town and about what happened to you? I'd rather keep it a memory, a memory just for myself. No, that's wrong. Huh? Wait, what? What I mean is, it's not just your memory. It's both our memories together. No, that's wrong. <laughs> right? Hmm. You're an average idiot, but your hairstyle is weird. Jeez. It's not weird. My antenna is charming and really pretty. Jeez, I thought you were actually going to say something nice to me. Not in a thousand years. But you made me happy. Hmm? Did you say something? <laughs> you didn't hear me? <sighs> uh, I said that you're an average idiot with a weird hairstyle and a brother complex. Really? I heard you say you made me happy. Don't mess with what? me. What? So you did hear me. Stop playing mind games. Alright, let's go check the other wing. And then it's up the stairs of infinity. Ooh, a hundred shots. A hundred! It's my fault. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. It's my fault I don't know how to buy alcohol properly. It's my fault that I cough when you smoke. It's my fault, and that's why Dad gets mad at me. I'm sorry for making you look like the bad guy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm the one who's at fault, and I'm sorry I made you look like a bad guy. Please don't throw me away. Please stay with me. Please keep being my dad. Dude. We're just reading everybody's sad fucking diaries before we go up and face Monica. My invention. <laughs> I'm the prince of inspiration. The strongest land animal is the hippo. It's decided. The skin is four centimeters thick. Four whole centimeters. That's about the thickness of an omelet. I got it. I totally got it. The sadness I felt was really just not having peace of mind. I'm sad that mommy hates me because I'm not at peace. <laughs> if that's the case, it's simple. If I don't want to be sad, all I have to do is change the peaceful place. I just have to believe that being hated makes me at peace. If I can do that, even when she tells me to die, I will always be at peace. I've heard that there will be clear weather after a typhoon, but I don't think they were talking about families. 
The more mommy hates me, the better it makes me feel. Now I can stay by mommy's side forever at peace. Big brain. Also sad boys. Oh, no more shinies in that side. Oh wait, I lied. Hi, Monica. Welcome. Welcome. Ooh, finish this. Sold. Yeah, baby. Maxed out. Oh, shit. I don't have enough for all of this stuff now, though. Uh... Let's just buy splendidly. That's big damage. Big damage. Whoops. Whoops. Look at that damage, brother. That's a lot of damage. Wee. Up we go. Jeez. The atmosphere in here is practically screaming final boss fight. Toko? True. We're gonna be all right, aren't we? We've come this far already. Don't go freaking out now. They should be scared of us. True. You're right. Because we, we can reload saves and they can't. Yeah, I guess you're right. After all, we're a powerful team. Wait, powerful team? Can't you think of a cooler name than oh, that? Oh shit. She's gonna say it. Well, then you think of one. You're the ultimate writing prodigy after all. Yeah, you're right. I'll think of something after the happy ending. Yeah, after the happy ending. Death flags. Any last shinies? Let's go. Bring on the crazy eyes. So you finally decide to Wait, show up, huh? Wait, you don't have crazy eyes. Go so away. Slow. This isn't a manga. It shouldn't take a whole year for a day to pass. A manga. A black monokuma? Hey, why you got to make it like that, Kamaru? What Kamaro? is he? He looks vulgar. Wow. Hey, fuck off, boy. <sighs> How dare you? What the fuck? <laughs> He's so snappy. Before I emo chick to understand my charm. I get no respect. Yo, I'm so baller. If a professional musician ever came to my concert, they'd retire the next day. I'd make them choke on the hater aid. And you're going to be choking too when I'm done with you. Sir. What is this thing? Blabbering on with its nonsense. Could it? Does it have an AI like Shirokuma? Did you say Shirokuma? So you know him, huh? How's little bro doing? Brothers? Well, he's like a brother. We bear folks stick together, you know. But that ain't important. Don't you think it's strange, huh? Weird. I'm talking about why Monica ain't here. To tell you the truth, it's nap time for little Monica. Nap time? Oh, yeah, she's still a kid after all. She wore herself out being all hyped up. What? Yo, what is, is this the ending of Mass Effect 3? If you're brave enough chicks to disturb her nap, you can always try opening the door. Which door? Hell if I know. Monica made this little trap to keep out big melts like me, see? If you open the wrong door, blammo! Instant dust! <clears throat> Hello, nasty. But if you leave her be, she'll sleep for like three years. Now what you what you gonna do? Hurry, choose! Damn it, you're making me impatient! Kamaru, what you, you what seen you that you Monica you before, right? So, what do you think? Any idea which door she would choose? Hmm. Rather than choose, Peek a button. more button, like, button. which would she even be able to access? But it can't be <laughs> that simple. He said it's a trap, so it can't be easy. Y yeah, you're right. If this is really the ending of Mass Effect 3, all three doors will lead to the same place. 